Hello, yoga family. Welcome back to my channel, the best place to practice yoga for your body, mind, and soul. Today's class is a fire element yoga flow to feel transformed. And the intention I'm offering us today on the mat is I take imperfect action. So take a moment to write that all caps in the comments. I take imperfect action. So I know you're committing to that intention with me and our yoga family. Now I'm not suggesting or requiring any props, just yourself and your willingness to move your body and transform with me. And we'll start in an upright seated posture. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll meet you in that upright posture to begin this fiery flow together. All right, starting in an upright seated posture, find one that feels comfortable for you. Ankles stacked in front of one another or maybe legs crossed. You choose what feels good for your body today on the yoga mat. And we're gonna begin with some seated twisting work. Bring palms together at the heart. Inhale to bring the fingertips up towards the ceiling. Exhale, twist over towards the right. Right hand goes back, left hand comes across the chest. This is your exhale. Inhale back through center, fingertips reach. Exhale over to the left. Move like that with me. Your twist is at about a 50 to 60% capacity. You're not at 100%. Just moving with your breath, waking up the body. This last time on the right side, hold with me. Sit up nice and tall, really anchor into that back hand to elongate through the spinal column. Gaze over that right shoulder and take a moment to think about one of your accomplishments right now. Celebrate yourself. Acknowledge a win that you've had today, this past week or this past month. Hold that win in your mind's eye. And inhale back through center, fingertips reach. Exhale over to the left, we'll hold again. And I want you to think about another one of your accomplishments, celebrate yourself. Notice all the effort you do exert and the energy that you do use to create the things that matter to you. All the imperfect action you're already taking. And come back through center, reach the fingertips high one more time. And exhale, release. Hands rest on the thighs, eyes closed for a moment, and just sit with your wins for a moment. Sit with your manifestations, your creations. Acknowledge your accomplishments. The fire element is the doing activity. It's connecting to our personal power, channeling our will onto what matters and creating change and transformation that we desire. And to do that, we have to first tap into our personal power, right? And get focused on the things that matter. Channel our energy into our dreams and our goals and intentions and not get sidetracked. So burn through distractions and perfectionism that is uh, masked through procrastination. Our yoga practice can help us do all of that. Another breath. Coming back to our intention, I take imperfect action. Meet me in a tabletop posture. We'll move through a quick cat cow, breathing in and out of the nose. This is a fast paced movement fast paced transition. You are not jamming your body in and out of the movement here. Rather, you're moving in and out just easily, but with a powerful breath, inhaling and exhaling out of the nose, similar to breath of fire, but a full inhale and exhale out of the nose. Here we go. Watch me if you're new to this. Join in if you haven't already. Start breathing in and out.
a few more times, moving your body, inhaling and exhaling, flexing and contracting, opening and closing, inhaling and exhaling, pumping the body here, building up some heat, tapping into your personal power. Last one, we meet in neutral tabletop. Great work. Inhale the right arm high to the sky. Exhale, sweep it through for thread the needle. Back of the right hand, right shoulder, right ear resting on the mat. Left hand can stay right here or bring it into vari any variation you like here. Last breath. The left hand returns next to the face, push into the earth plane, unravel, reach right fingertips high, place the right hand down. We switch to the other side, left arm high, reach and thread it through for thread the needle. Finding your variation on this side of the body, it might look different for you. Right hand returns next to the face, push into the earth plane, unravel, unwind, reach left fingertips high, set that left hand down, great work, and swing the legs around, come on to your back with me here. Knees stay bent, feet are planted, cross the right leg over the left and just let it hang here, palms rest down by your side, feel all four corners of the left foot, and lift on an inhale into a small bridge here. Building some heat, some strength, some power, stability in the left leg. Push down through the inner and outer left heel. Push down through the baby toe and the big toe on the left foot. Lift the hips, you're not in a back bend. Let's take three pulses. So lower down, lift up, lower down, lift up, lower down, lift up, set your pelvis down and slide your right ankle to rest above your left knee. Use the strength of your core to hug this leg package in towards your chest. Like a figure four, except you're not using your arms here to help you, hold here. Flexing both feet, sending the right knee away from the body. You'll feel a nice stretch in your hips. And now let this entire leg package fall over to the left side of your mat. The right sole of the foot comes to the earth plane. Left hand gently guides right leg away from the body and the right arm reaches overhead for this beautiful figure four supine twist. I love this posture. Letting any feelings of I am not good enough and I am not worthy or I lack the confidence to take the imperfect action I need and want to, letting that just be wrung out of you here. Last breath. And bring everything back through to the center. Set the right foot down. Left foot comes over the right now. Root down through the sole of the right foot, palms down by your side again, and lift your hips off the ground, building that strength, stability, and support on the right leg now. Just by you getting on the yoga mat, you're taking imperfect action. Realize that, right? Getting on this mat and saying, I am going to practice and move my body and breathe, let go of tension, 
build strength, but also build emotional and mental capacity, connect with myself spiritually and do it imperfectly, we're already on the path. Take those three pumps, lower down, lift up, lower down, lift up, lower down, lift up. Beautiful, set the pelvis down, slide the left ankle over so it's resting above the right knee, both feet are flexed, engage the abdomen and hug everything into the chest here. Awesome. Hold here. Send the left knee away from the chest. And now let everything fall over to the right so the entire leg package stays intact comes over to the right, left sole of the foot comes down, right hand guides left leg away from the body, left arm comes overhead and imagine that ringing out happening. I am enough, I am worthy, I take imperfect action. I'm confident in my abilities. And bring it all back through to center. Unwind, great work. Coming into some bicycles, a little bit of core work. Interlace the hands behind the head. We'll connect right elbow to left knee to begin as the right leg goes long. Here we go. Inhale to lift up, right leg long, right elbow to left knee. You guys know these, and switch, and switch and switch, and switch, and switch, and switch. For seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome work, knees into the chest. Mm. Start to rock forward and back on the spine. And make your way into downward facing dog, planting the hands, stepping the feet back. Oh, taking a few breaths here to settle in. Every time I come to this mat to teach, after years of teaching and hundreds of classes and probably so many hours, there's still that moment of, can I do this? Will I make a mistake? Will people resonate? Will the class help someone? And I have to get past that perfectionism and just teach the class as best I can, but imperfectly, right? So I'm right beside you in taking imperfect action and letting this yoga practice transform myself from the inside out, right? Really. The practice works from the outside, it comes in and then it goes from the inside out and off our mat into our daily lives. Inhale forward for plank. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward plank. Exhale, back down dog. Inhale, forward plank. Hold three breaths, push the earth plane away. Ribs draw down and in. Tailbone descends towards the heels. Last breath. Send it back, downward facing dog. Inhale to gaze forward. Walk yourself towards the top of the mat here. Inhale, lift up halfway, lengthen from tail to crown. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, push down through your feet, sweep the arms high. Exhale, hands down through heart center. Inhale, the arms high. Exhale, fold at the midline. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, step the right foot back, soften that knee down. Inhale up, low lunge. Exhale, plant the hands. Step back, plank pose. 
Listen carefully. Left knee to left elbow. Step it back again. Step it back again. And now take it back three-legged down dog with the left leg high. Rolling that left hip down to be in line with the right. Spiraling the left inner thigh up towards the sky. Wrapping the armpits towards the heart. Ears in line with the biceps, another breath. Exhale, sweep the leg through, plant the left foot. Build your foundation here. Left knee towards left armpit on an inhale, lift up into high lunge. Unfold at the hip crease as you lift up, pubic bone forward. Big inhale, reach through the inner elbows all the way up through the fingertips. Exhale, hands down through heart center and find a twist. Use your abdomen, the strength of your core to revolve around yourself. Right elbow hooks outside left leg here. Back leg is active. Hamstring is lifting towards the sky. Lengthening from the left hip all the way through the crown of the head. I take imperfect action. Now listen carefully, gaze down. You're coming into twisted utkatasana, twisted chair pose. So bend the back knee and you can take multiple steps to come into chair pose. Drop the hips down, check in with your knees, make sure they're both in alignment, both facing forward. Again, send the left hip back as you lengthen through the crown of the head. Hold here, three breaths. Inhale, unravel through center and stand up nice and tall, reach the fingertips high. Exhale, hands down through heart center. Sweep the hands high again. Exhale to fold through the midline. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, this time the left foot back. Soften the knee down. Inhale up, low lunge. Exhale, plant hands, plank pose. Right knee, right elbow. Take it back and again. Take it back and again. This time take it back, three-legged down dog and hold. Right hip drops in line with left. Right inner thigh spirals towards the sky. Wrap the armpits towards the heart to lift up. Ears in line with the biceps, another breath. Exhale, sweep that right foot through. Knee towards the armpit, build your foundation here. Firm the legs and inhale to sweep up into a high lunge. Pubic bone forward, lifting up through the inner elbows, through the fingertips. Exhale, hands down into prayer, find your twist. Move slowly here, take your time, revolve around yourself. Left elbow hooks outside of right knee. Find that connection and then lift the left hamstring towards the sky as the right hip goes back and crown of the head reaches forward. Three breaths. I am enough, I am worthy, I take imperfect action. I am confident in my abilities. Gaze down for balance and make your way into twisted chair pose. Take as many steps as you need to arrive and then lower those hips down, please. <laughs> Take them down, down, down. Knees are even, both facing forward. Right hip going back, reaching through the crown of the head. Three breaths, squeeze the legs.
Next inhale, come through to center and stand all the way up. Beautiful work, reach through the fingertips, hands back through heart center, awesome job. Just a little bit of standing work, some twisting and core. Bring all of the weight into the left leg as you lift, sorry, right foot. Right foot, right leg, lift the left knee, yeah? Right hand, bring it across so it catches the outside of the left knee here. Lift up and lengthen, gaze back and take your left hand back with you. It helps to flex this left foot. If you know the advanced variation here and you wanna have it, take it for yourself. Maybe even shifting your gaze all the way around to look at your back thumb. Another breath. And then slowly bring your gaze back forward, hands to hips, stand up really tall, shoulders stacked over hips, and extend the left leg, kick through the left heel. Three breaths here. Lift that leg. And set it down. Great work. Shimmy it out, shake it out. All of the weight now in the left foot. Left leg firms, lift the right knee. Left hand outside of the right knee here. And lift up, lengthen the spine as you begin to rotate and extend the right arm back. Again, flexing the lifted foot really helps with balance. And then take your time to adjust your gaze. Looking back at this back thumb. Falling out imperfectly, coming back, enjoying the process. Here we go incrementally begin to bring your gaze back to the front of the mat. It really helps to do that slowly. Hands to hips and extend that right leg out. Kick through the heel, lengthen up through the crown of the head. Three breaths. And set that right leg down. Shake it out, great work. Let's vinyasa our way to the ground, taking any variation you want today. Inhale, the arms high. Exhale, lower through the midline. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, your way to downward facing dog. Three breaths and down dog. Last downward dog of the practice today. And soften the knees down. Swing the legs around. If you've got a blanket, place it underneath your bum. Otherwise, I really recommend rolling up the back of your yoga mat. It's so nice to lift the pelvis. Sit on the edge of that mat roll you've created here or your blanket. Hands come underneath the left knee to bend the knee and bring the sole of the left foot into the body. Great work. Right leg is active. Left hand comes back as a kickstand. Inhale, the right arm high. And now listen, you can come across and bring the right elbow to the outside of the left knee here. This is great. This is a really deep twist. You can also wrap the right arm around and bring the knee into the crux of the elbow. You choose what you need today and what feels better in your body. No matter what though, lengthen and lift up out of the pelvis. We wanna feel vertebral space, this beautiful lengthening happening. Option to shift the gaze and look back over your left shoulder here. Imperfectly showing up for your practice today. Inhale. 
exhale, unwind. Extend the left leg back out and just sit up nice and tall. Notice the difference in the body. Legs come underneath the right knee to hug the foot in towards the chest. Right hand goes back as your kickstand. Inhale, we lengthen up. Exhale, find your variation of the twist on this side. It might be different than the other side. Again, lifting out of the pelvis, feeling that vertebral space as you twist around yourself and maybe take your gaze back over the right shoulder here. Beautiful, last inhale. Exhale, unwind. Awesome. Come off that roll or that blanket and unroll the mat and lay yourself all the way down. Coming into banana asana pose. Walk the feet over towards the left side of the mat here. And I like to cross my right ankle over my left ankle. Arms overhead, shifting the torso over towards the left. And I also like to clasp my left hand around my right wrist. Let your head completely relax. It can shift to whichever direction or face straight up. Breathe all along the right side of the body. The fire element is this beautiful element and it gets ignited as we combine matter and movement. Matter being our foundation, our stability, our support system. Movement being this desire to change. And we combine those two, it's like striking a match and igniting that flame. And that flame has the ability to turn our thoughts and our ideas, our limiting beliefs, our programming, our words, all of that very uh, cerebral stuff, things that aren't tangible. Fire has the ability to take our words, our thoughts, our ideas, our intentions, and bring it down to the earth plane into the material world and make it something livable, breathable, haveable. So it's a beautiful, powerful element. And the biggest lesson is to take imperfect action, to shift out of perfectionism and procrastination and people pleasing and pretending and proving and performing for ourselves and others and move into our values and what matters most to us. And begin to unravel and bring yourself back to the center, pause, notice. Celebrate yourself for being here and come into banana asana on the other side. And as we end our practice, I'll be ending us with breath work and some seated stillness. We'll be doing breath of fire, which is an energizing, cleansing, purifying pranayam. If you are pregnant, if you've got upper respiratory or nasal congestion, if you have high blood pressure or any heart complications, 
I invite you to stay on your back and lay in Shavasana and rest and integrate the practice. Unravel from Banana Asana. And for those of you staying in Shavasana, settle in. Allow your body to become very heavy. If you're joining me in an upright posture, shift onto one side to sit up and meet me there. Choosing your seated posture, cross-legged or kneeling, coming into Kapalabhati, breath of fire, which is a forceful exhale through the nose and a passive inhale also through the nose and the exhales happen rapidly and strongly and if you've never done it you can just watch and do your best and you'll build your capacity bring your hands into a v overhead a v representing the equilateral triangle strength structure and stability as my teacher says and as she also says, to make cups in your hands as if by chance grace is raining down, you're ready and available to catch it. Embodying this trinity of strength, structure, and stability, which allows us to take imperfect action. Exhale completely. Inhale three quarters and begin. and keep pumping and pumping and pumping. And as my teacher says, know that when your arms are up like this, you are in your potential, you are building your capacity, you're opening the windows to your house, you are cleansing, you are purifying, you are cleaning, you are uplifting, you are stimulating, you are energizing, you are affirming your ability to take imperfect action, keep lifting your arms strongly, lifting up out of the base of your being broadening through your chest, keep pumping and pumping and pumping, you're almost there. And inhale to take a big breath in, hook your arms overhead, hold the breath. Sip in a little bit more air like you're sipping in through a straw. Three more little sips. Hold the breath. And exhale your ability to transform. Your hands come down in a sphere around you. Rest the hands on top of the thighs. Pause here. Sense your personal power. Sense your ability to channel your will onto what matters. Sense this internal flame and your ability to direct that flame, to manage the heat, to decide when it needs to grow brighter, bigger, bolder, and when it needs to dim down, rest, retreat. You are the mediator of this internal flame. You can ignite it, you can grow it, you can soften it. And it's through taking imperfect action that you'll learn how to ignite and manage it. Create the things that are most important to you. And live your life, live your journey on purpose. Feeling fulfilled, empowered, and free. If you're lying down in Shavasana still, please make small movements and then slowly come onto one side for fetal pose and meet us in an upright posture. And 
Let's all sweep our hands out to the side and gather up this imperfect energy, this ability to transform. Palms touch, exhale, hands down through heart center. We'll close with an ohm. Inhale to prepare. Begin to open your eyes. Welcome back to the physical space. I hope you feel more whole in your body, mind, and soul, and like you can step off this yoga mat and take the imperfect actions that matter to you and what you want to create in your life. Remember, there's always more resources here to help you continue your yoga journey and evolve your on-the-mat practices. Please subscribe to my channel for more body, mind, soul yoga. And now the real work begins. Yeah, taking this message, these teachings off the mat and into our daily lives. Thank you for being here. Namaste.